Next up, on 10 Minute Pinball, we are going to be playing Centaur from uh, within Farsight's Pinball Arcade. Centaur, that's the other uh, alphanumeric that I had requested to see within Zen's Pinball FX3 this uh, upcoming year in 2021. Why Centaur? Well, maybe we should take a look and you can find out why Centaur is absolutely awesome sauce. First off, great audio. This is from 1981, by the way. Second off, it's just a black and white play field with dashes of red. Um, it looks awesome, but look at the how low res the graphics are. So again, this, you're, it's going to be a common theme with all these tables that I play in uh, Pinball Arcade. Uh, these low res graphics that uh, Zen would just be able to do some nice high contrast. I don't know what they would do for visual enhancements on this, to be honest. Um, be a little weird having oddball things. My request with this has always been there was, if you played Visual Pinball back in the day, Visual Pinball 8, and you happened to play uh, Pack Dude's version, he had his own custom ROM and he made some new rule sets, but there was glowing your balls if you, uh, when they launched as orbs. They would glow and they would cause different scores to happen. It was one of the absolute best ways of doing this. And I would love it if Zen happened to uh, to do that. But I know that they won't because they're not going to mess with the rules. But look at that. Man, they didn't even touch up the uh, the inserts with the art. Those are, those are worn inserts. So... When I was playing Whirlwind earlier, the comment went out that it looks like Farsight does a, a beater version of an operated table. And yeah, this one doesn't uh, dispel that rumor at all, does it? All right, let's get into playing, huh? Here we go. Timer is started. I have 10 minutes. Let's see how well I can do. Nice if I could remember my tricks to scoring on this. Uh, the main thing is oh, no, no. getting other orbs at the ready so you can release them. Because once you get that going, you can get some big time multi ball just forever. The other thing, though, is learning how to hit that queen's chamber. For the Get in there! Yep, look at that. So, that was the notorious far side uh, gate jump. <laughs> it's just a matter of get. There it is, there's the double. Nope, couldn't do it that time. Um, but you'll see that little stutter of the ball going over. Chamber is good to get. All right, let's get that O. There we go. Now the R. Nope. Ah! So I played this table uh, up in Portland, Oregon, and at a place called uh, was it Quarter World, I think, and. It was relatively... You could get the hang of getting that knockback for the uh, for the ball as it's going out the out lane and bumping it through the gate. Um, I did it, performed it quite a few times, and so I was happy about that, that it's definitely doable. Um, if the operator wanted, though, to torture... Whoa, that was fast. Wants to torture you, then they just reduce the, uh, the rubber that's on there and make it impossible. So far, Centaur is just knocking me out. Get that B. There we go. We just need the S. Bad 
good. There. Now, yep, see, there we go. That's all I wanted. I wanted the multi-ball going. Now let's try and get that Queen's Chamber shot. This game's fun too, because you can get five ball multi-ball going. I think it's five ball. Chamber is a hard, hard shot to get the double on. Nope, not gonna get a power orb that way. Oh, we're gonna get one this way? Oh, nice. So if I can just knock down the orb stand-ups multiple times, it'll give me another ball. Oh, there we go, now we're up to three. Nice. Yeah. I mean, for a game from 1981, this thing is phenomenal. It holds up so well. I got a one more stand up there in the Queen's Chamber. Don't go that way. The <laughs> unfortunately, Queen's Chamber now is back up to full, full stand up target ability. I really do like though the vertical vertical ropes of uh, drop targets. There we go. Nope. Didn't even get to a million. Or did I? Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my high score. This table doesn't actually have a normal uh, keep track of high score, so this was Farsight's doing. All right, how much time do I got left on this one? Oh, four minutes. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can beat. Uh, let's see if we can beat a million. That helps. I really want that. Nail this shot. You gotta get it right on the edge of the uh, flipper before launching, which makes it rather scary. Too sharp. I should really try nudging when the first time it bounces, not the second time, right? <clears throat> Obviously, no skill shot on this. I don't know if skill shots were a thing yet, though. You'll notice I'm not much of a nudger. Ever. <laughs> wow. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, we got enough time. Come on. Doesn't take long to get a good game going on this. Tried nudging. Didn't get the time right. I do worry that I don't know. Is this table graphic? It doesn't look graphic. I mean, like in terms of anything that 
Zen would try and censor. Um, I guess the gallop at the top. She's got the old cleavage going. But, uh... And yet there's something really disturbing about this table. Like, it just feels that it's... Violent. There was a shot. Classic Playfield Reproductions actually did a... Uh, a colorized version of this. They put color at various points. I kind of hated it. <laughs> I got one more stand-up target to... Oh, Delvin, I just slept on it. It did not bounce the way I was hoping it would bounce. All right, timer says I got a minute and a half. Doing speed pinball now. Too bad I don't know the quickest way to score. Definitely helps on the bonus getting the 2x, but... The main thing is I gotta get multi-ball going. You don't score much with a single ball. Is that gonna launch me one? Nope. I didn't have any orbs stored. Oh, I got the gate save and then I didn't flip proper. Unbelievable. the old timer. Wow. All right. So what I cap out at 980,000 on this, I think. Which is not a good score. Um but I think you can see why I really 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 like Centaur. Um I mean it doesn't have ramps. It it's a basic rule set, but it's got a really good multi-ball. Fantastic art. It just oozes attitude um and i find it's a it's a table that i can spend a lot of time on it's one definitely one of those oh just one more quarter kind of tables so hopefully we will see a centaur in pinball fx3 i hope but i don't know either <laughs> um